um, there was a horrific episode where a father and his daughter were drowned. Yes. And, uh, and you commented on that and said that tragedies like that occurred on the border yeah. because the father didn't wait to go through the asylum process That's right. in a legal fashion. And some people might hear those things and say, wow, that guy's really a heartless bastard. <laughs> They'd be wrong. The, the reality is you, when, you, when, you, when you have a tragedy like that, and let's make no bones about it, it's a tragedy whenever you, if it was just the father, it'd be a tragedy. But here you've got a father and a daughter. Um, and we asked the question, why did this happen? And who's responsible? And that was the question asked of me. And first and foremost, that father is responsible for his own actions. Are there reasons he made the decision he made? Yes, there are. But it was his decision. It wasn't other people's decision. If there was ever a time when you felt that the United States was not the right place for you and your family to be, where would you go? <laughs> and what would you do if they said, no thanks, we're full? I don't foresee that happening. I mean, the things I value are the very principles we built this country on. And I can appreciate why people do want to come here. But every nation has to set its own standards governing how and when people can come here. For those obeying our rules and our laws, we welcome you. And for those who would rather come in and jump the line, we are gonna do our very best to keep you out. <laughs>